Before today's episode of Ollie's Farm begins, I've got a couple of shout outs to do. To Farmer Luke, James McCune, Midge Lee Dot William, Paige Raig Murphy, Jack4220, Jack Cliff, Sean Ryan, Tech Bros, and Tech Bros has got a small YouTube channel, so go and check his channel out. I'll drop a link in the description. And to Tom Carr Agri Contracts. Tom's actually a good friend of mine, and we'll be heading over there in the summer to Tom's family farm to do a, a video on uh, Tom's bale barons. Tom's also got a Facebook page called Tom Carr Agri Contracts and I'll drop a link to it in the description below. Thanks very much as well for the calf name suggestions. They're all being taken into consideration and in three days they will be named. Well hello and welcome back to another episode of Ollie's Farm. You can tap the subscribe button to subscribe to Ollie's Farm below and you can also tap the little bell next to the subscribe button to be notified when there is a new upload from Ollie's Farm. So if you tap that little bell you can receive a notification when we upload. So today as you can see I'm standing here next to the Johnson livestock trailer and basically what my plan is to do today is to take the top off and we're going to use the body here for carting some straw. So we're going to separate this bottom section here from the top section. So the way in which we split the trailer in half is we separate these bolts here. We basically take these bolts out. There's one, two, three, and four on each side. And then there's also, you can't see it, but there's actually a pin somewhere around here, which drops in from this, basically the base of the trailer here. So the objective is to actually remove the bolts. And once there are bolt, the bolts are then removed, I can then jack it up using some jacks I've got over there. And then what I'll do is I'll put the jacks into the sides of the trailer, jack the trailer up, and then pull the trailer forward in an attempt to separate it. And hopefully today all goes well because sometimes it can be a bit tricky to separate it correctly. Hold on, is, is that what I think it is? It's that drone from Gatwick Airport which has been causing all the disruption. It looks to be heading over this way. What's it doing? Oh no, right out of the way. Ah. <laughs> ah. Leave me alone. Whoa, that was one angry drone. Whoa. Whoa, that was close, guys. Okay, so I'm now going to use the JCB, which I've just brought up here, and we're going to tow the trailer to the yard so that we can take the bolts out. Okay, so I've now got the trailer here outside the workshop and all I'm going to use is my 24mm spanner here and this impact gun, which is a snap-on impact gun I've had it a few years and I've just got a 24mm socket as well. Okay, so let's take these bolts off. Okay, using this bucket, I will just collect all of the bolts and we'll keep them for 
later. Okay, and there we go. As you can see, all of the bolts now have been taken out. So we can take this now across to the other side of the farm and remove the top. And there we go. So I've parked up. I now need to get the jacks so that I can put them in these individual holes on the side of the trailer here to jack it up. Okay, so here we go. I've got all of the jacks now. This jack here I'm about to put in. So what I first got to do is make sure that the jack is the right level for the square hole there. Oh, you have to persevere with these things a bit. Oh, there we go, that's got it. Okay, so if I now go the other way back up, I'll start to lift the body of this trailer off. All we have to do is just work our way around the trailer until we get enough of a gap in, in the middle of the trailer to then pull the trailer out. Okay, so hopefully you can now see that, the, that there's a separation here. And if you look at the back as well, the slurry board section here at the back is separated as well. So I'm now going to go in the JCB and, and separate it. Easy does it, easy does it. And there we go people, there we go. Okay, so as you can see, I've just dropped the trailer off. So using the loadal here, I've just picked up one of these sides, which we use to support the straw. And I've just basically dropped it on the trailer here. Hopefully you can see it okay. And basically what I'm going to do is put the side, these two square sections here, they are gonna go into here and I'm just going to do that now and I'm going to use the drone to film myself doing it because the GoPro's died and I'm just on my phone now unfortunately. As some of you might know I'm actually waiting on a, a new camera for doing all of the Ollie's Farm filming and everything and it's due to arrive after Christmas so when that arrives it'll be great. But yeah let's get the sides put back together. Okay, and there we have it guys. The straw trailer is now put together. And as you can see, we've got both of the sides on, the, the back and also as well the front. So it, we are now ready to go and do some straw carting in the coming months. And what straw carting is, is it's basically deposited around the farm are groups of bales which we've stacked from the harvest. And the reason why we don't store all of the straw here is because if the straw pile was to burn down for whatever reason, at least we've always got some other piles around the farm which we can utilize and use during the winter months. So the only downside is that we have to go out and collect the straw in the winter and that's what we call straw carting so and also as well there's a farm next door which we've got to go and pick up some straw from in the coming weeks also because we're, we're going to be a bit short of straw this year so hence um, why we've got to go and pick some up from uh, another farm so as you can see clover and i have just come up to the bales here to check how many bales there are to be carted in from this part of the farm We've taken off the top of the cattle box, so we're now ready to go straw carting in the next few weeks. If you have enjoyed today's video and you're new to the channel, you can click the subscribe button below and you can also tap the little bell to be notified when there is a new episode of Ollie's Farm uploaded. And also as well, you can follow the Ollie's Farm Instagram page, which is ollies.farm in the Instagram search bar. And if you enjoyed today's video, do give it a thumbs up, but only if you enjoyed the video and do have a very Merry Christmas. I hope everyone gets all of the presents they ask for and I hope everyone has a lovely time with their families because Christmas is a time for being with your family and of course it is a time for sharing. And do comment, rate and subscribe for plenty more videos to come.